Hey participants, this lesson is called Solar System Necklace and it is a delicious model, a scale model of our solar system. And um, I don't know about you, but my students love any time you give them food. So they get to eat this once they make their model. So, um, so what you'll need is three types of cereal. You need honeycomb, you'll need um, like a this is called Fruitlicious Rings. This is um, Fruit Loops. And you'll need um, Cheerios. Make sure you don't get the um, Honey Nut Cheerios, just the regular Cheerios. So for this scale model, and by the way, you will want to teach um, a couple lessons about the planets. And I recommend um, a YouTube video by Mr. DeMeo. He's awesome. The kids love him. He's very informative. So. Um, I would definitely recommend that. Demeo, D-E-M-A-I-O. So <clears throat> what you'll want is you want to, like, at least a day before the lesson, you will want to get, and you'll get a ball, you'll get a twine, a ball of string, and you'll want to cut them out. Go ahead and cut them for the kids. Um, and you want to make sure that you glue the ends. And you're getting some bottles of this great tacky glue. Do not use Elmer's, it's terrible. This is awesome. And you want to use the glue because it keeps the ends from fraying. And so when the kids are threading the cereal on it, you don't have kids saying, you know, I can't do this, I can't do this because the string's coming apart, okay? And the first thing you wanna do though, after you pass the string out, is you've got to keep, teach the kids how to tie knots. It's amazing how many fourth graders do not know how to tie knots. So I show them how to do this. I take a piece of string and I wrap it around my finger and then I show them how and I call it the rabbit through the hole. Put the rabbit through the hole, and there you go. You've got one knot. That's not enough. You need to tie it two more times. So, and I, I do this, and I test the cereal to make sure that it does not, so this one's already got three knots on the end. So that's how you test it. If that fruit loop does not come off the end, then that's good, okay? I also tell the kids, help each other out. If you know how to tie knots, and your neighbor's struggling, <coughs> help your neighbor. Okay, so um, you will have directions for this too. So you will, um, kids, what I do is I put all the cereal in bowls and the honeycomb, I'll go ahead and show you a finished one. Here's the finished necklace where the honeycomb is the sun. Each Cheerio represents 30, approximately 30 million miles. And then you've got Mercury, 30 million miles, Venus, 30 million miles, Earth, 30 million miles, and Mars, okay? Then you've got pretty big space here, okay? That, then you got Jupiter, and there's Saturn, Uranus, and then of course Neptune is at the end. So when the kids get finished stringing it, then they're gonna tie, again, three knots, so it doesn't slip off the other end, and then they're gonna tie it around each other. And most of the time I come around and I'll ask the kids before they start eating it, to um, tell me the planets in order. And so remember, my very educated mother just served us pizza, okay? The kids can learn that, they can learn the solar system, okay? So that's solar system necklace. I'm sure your kids are gonna love it. My do.